Hey there, so today we have another unboxing. This is courtesy of Jonathan uh, from Massachusetts. He actually sent me uh, a box before with some really awesome New England goodies. So I'm really excited. This is literally my first time opening the box up, as you can see. So, well, not as you can see. I like at least took apart some tape so that you can at least see that. Uh, uh, boom. He, 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 that's really nice. He put on a bunch of canning dates uh, for anything. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Uh, they're relatively fresh. So they changed the name of Channel Marker, which is now Coastal Massburn, which makes sense. Um, I guess a copyright issue, uh, blah, 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 da, 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 awesome, keep a great work, have an awesome day. Thank you so much, Jonathan, uh, that, that's really sweet of you, um, kind of, really kind words, and again, just nothing more kind than the reviews, because um, this kind of stuff really helps out, because it's it's stuff that I, A, uh, can't, outside of the equilibrium and maybe the threes, I don't think any of this stuff I can actually get in Florida, which does actually count for a lot of stuff I can get, but, um, yeah, well, again, really helps out the reviews to have um, also awesome beer uh, getting sent out. So this is Good Word Brewing. Uh, did you mention anything about that? No. Um, never heard of Good Word. Oh, sorry. So collaboration with Good Word. This is from Schilling. Yeah, I know this little Schilling. Uh, they're out of New Hampshire. Um, I didn't realize they're really like, um, I can't really see, but they're, they're sort of on the top left corner of New Hampshire, sort of on the top right edge with uh, uh, Vermont. Crazy enough with all my trips abroad, I never really went to New Hampshire. Um, but Schilling, this is their uh, Fooder Lager Schwarzbier. 4.4% tiny beer. Nice. Love it. All right. What else we got? Oh, jeez. This is a nice package, by the way. Thank you. Uh, future reference. Uh, Oak Age Franconian Dark Lager. Uh, going, ahead, uh, going hard on the uh, Oak Aged, you know, the, the, the Fooder Aged Lager. And then it's Franconian style. There's a whole to do. In, like a specific region of Germany. I didn't know Franconian lagers were dark, though. I thought they were like amber. But that's something I probably should do some research for you guys for. Uh, this is from, yeah, CMB. So newly named breweries, Coastal Massburn. Uh, point of no return, double IPA. And it's really nice. Like he, So, hmm, how do you do that? So this was canned about a month and a week ago. But he has a canning, like he has a canning date on here, but... I don't, like, it's not on the can. I assume he did some research. I assume either, well, the best way to really do it is you just go on, like, their social media or their uh, untapped, and you see, like, when was the last time this was released, blah, blah, stuff like that. So, ooh, I like this label. Um, Beverly, Massachusetts, CMB. So, yeah, I guess they've changed their name. Um, this is Tailfin. They really don't say anything about the beer, though. It just says Tailfin. One pint IPA. Okay. Uh, this Tailfin is even fresher. Less than a month fresher. Wow. I like that label, though. Ah, oh, geez, these are, these are tight. Um, triple IPA. So this is, a, I mean, that's going to be good. Or should be good. <laughs> Equilibrium Other Half Collab called Dream Lab. Really crazy. Like, collabs like this, like, you know, you think they would just be, like, can't um, brewery only releases, but somehow they get distributed. And uh, he got this one out to me. Less than a month fresh. So, great. Uh, this is Belin, between, sorry, Belin. Uh, between Widowmaker and Vitamin C. The vitamin, C, vitamin C is a collab with everybody these days, right? Um, double IPA, hazy. Yeah. And Widowmaker is out of Braintree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, he said, I think he sent me some Widowmaker too. Quite fresh. Less than a month fresh as well. <laughs> ah, jeez. These are... Let's see what this is. Uh, another one from Widowmaker. So, uh, Rosé Muscat... Sauvignon Blanc Wine Must Double IPA. I'm telling you. I mean, it's good because the cans can't move, but it is fun to sort of like um, try to get them out. Dancing Gnome, yeah. At a so he gets Dancing Gnome too? Crazy. Dancing Gnome, no for Hazy in Pennsylvania, or um, uh, uh, Pennsylvania, right? Uh, hazy Double IPA. Infinite Highway. Wow, we got Trill. Is that Trill? What is that? It's Kettle. Oh, oh, sorry. Audrey, I don't want you falling down. <laughs> sorry, Audrey's sit, sitting here eating, but also hanging out. Why don't you sit down? Thank you. Um, this is a collaboration with uh, uh, Trillium, but this is from Kettlehead, which I've never had, out of North uh, New Hampshire. Side Trail, double IPA. And it's a map with like all these like parts of their 
Trail? That's near Kettlehead, I guess, in New Hampshire. Pretty cool. It's crazy that, like, Kettle, uh, sorry, New Hampshire has become, like, a beer state all of a sudden um, after, like, I moved down here. I didn't really know them as a beer state. Then. So, ooh, that's a beautiful label. I love this. Uh, Bellflower out of Portland, Maine. This is a hazy IPA, I guess. But I love that label. Cool, cool, cool stuff. Yeah, and he has canned days for all of them. So I'm going to keep this little list, and I'm going to reference it. But I've had a lot of reviews for you guys. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Absolutely uh, clutch. Um, sort of out of beers in my first year review for the moment. No, I actually do have a couple of beers to review, guys. But out of that, now we got, you know, uh, 10 beers. Thank you so much. Cheers. Really awesome. Thank you.